Hello, good morning. Six o'clock in the morning, and the stress of everyday life begins. Family, home, work, over and over again. This kind of stress actually gives us energy to get through the day. But doing it day after day can damage our bodies. To find out what all that stress is doing to a body, let's go to the Neuroendocrinology Lab at Arizona State University. Kathy Matt and her team of researchers are trying to find out what stress does to our bodies. Stress, good or bad, it's not just psychological, it's physiological as well. So your body produces chemicals called hormones when you feel stress. In these samples, we are measuring cortisol, which is a stress hormone. The hormones that your body produces give you energy so that you can manage the stress. Dr. Matt explains that there are two types of stress. Physical stress, like running, and mental stress, like too much work. In physical stress, your body burns the hormones. In mental stress, your body doesn't burn all the hormones. Put this over your head. The effects of physical stress on the body are easy to measure. I'm going to take you up two and a half percent, okay? As the speed of the treadmill goes up, so does the heart rate and breathing. All right, here we go. Very right hard. now, the hormones in the blood are rising higher close. and higher. Here we go, all you got. This woman is releasing many hormones and using all the energy they create. I think it was the governor. I mean, good job, way to go. So she passes the first test. Her body deals with the physical stress pretty well. But what about mental stress? It's vital that you perform at your highest capable level for each of the tests. The with the pressure on. Yellow, Come on, Elisa, as fast as you can. Yellow, green, the heart races. Red, the blood pressure red. soars. OK. Um, God, I hate eight. I can't do the eight timetables. Again, those stress hormones are kicking in. Eight is 24. When you are under long-term mental stress, your body produces hormones all the time, but it doesn't burn the extra fuel, and that leads to all sorts of problems. And I want you to put your fingers straight down. This machine checks if your bones are in good shape. If you have too many hormones in your blood, you can have problems with your bones. Other studies show that long-term stress can lead to diabetes, heart disease, and neurological diseases. Here's your bone density, so you're really right on, again, this, uh, norm. So far, so good. She shows no long-term effects from mental stress, yet. But that doesn't mean she can just ignore it. This means that if you do lots of exercise, it will burn up the hormones, and your body won't have so many problems from mental stress. And remember, not all stress is bad. Every now and then, we need a good dose of those hormones to help us get to the end of the day. Thank you, sweetheart.